Accountability breeds quality. Commercial vehicle under legislation is defined as any vehicle that's getting compensated for money that's registered for 4,500 kilograms or more. Uh, they could be from a, a small one-ton vehicle right up to a large Super B that you see traveling on the road with multiple trailers. Edmonton's a hub for commercial vehicles. Uh, one, because it's a gateway to the north. The city of Edmonton is surrounded by industrial. A lot of these commercial vehicles don't uh, hit the highways and they're not checked at the provincial scales. So our role within the commercial vehicle unit is to make sure that they're following the proper legislation, um, they're following the rules when they're coming into our city, and make sure that they're safe on the roadway for all the other roadway users. The trucking industry has a huge responsibility to the municipalities that we operate in, recognizing that our workplaces are moving. They're on the roads, they're around the public. We need to take that responsibility seriously. There's a lot to those vehicles, and there's a lot that can happen with these vehicles that can cause a lot of damage quite quickly. One story I can think of was a patrol member gave us a call. Uh, they were following a commercial vehicle, and they noticed something was not right with the vehicle. Uh, we showed up, and we determined that the vehicle was out of service uh, for loose U-bolts. The whole back axle of the commercial vehicle was loose. You could be looking at well over a thousand pounds uh, coming off that vehicle uh, right into the roadway of a normal driver. The checks that the Edmonton City Police do are, are, are critical. The vehicle was deemed out of service, the company was contacted, and the vehicle was towed off the road. Ultimately, the responsibility that we need to look at is for road safety. We need to look at accountability and making sure that we're doing our part to ensure that the roads are safe for all users. Some of the concerns that we do come across, cracked frames, permitting issues, uh, load security. Other uh, concerns would be, say, the breakdown of the infrastructure, uh, damage to the highways. The roads are designed to handle a certain weight load from a truck. If the trucks are overloaded, the 20 year span that the road was designed for will exponentially decrease. To repair that road uh, would be about a million dollars to repair one kilometer of pavement within a city. So this is just one of the many things that we're looking for when we stop a commercial vehicle. Make sure those weights are within legal tolerance uh, and they're not damaging the roadways. The more that we can have accountability measures in place where people recognize that they have a role to play and they're going to be held responsible for that, that improves the road safety for all users and improves our industry. There's provincial legislation, there's federal legislation. The commercial vehicles uh, don't always follow these rules. So it's part of our job to educate the drivers, educate the, the companies on these rules and make sure that they're following these rules safely. They're communicating where the issues are and how industry can do better. And so what happens is those carriers that take that responsibility seriously can step up and do their part. And those carriers that aren't and aren't participating can be held accountable. And it makes it safer and better for everybody. We're commercial vehicle inspection detail, and this is who we are.